everybody in TV land. Good man Phil back in the house again today. Today's episode is how to cook a roast, man. How to cook a roast. And uh, real simple, quick, fast, easy, short step. We're going to put this bad boy in a crock pot. For all you people out there that don't know how to cook a roast, then just be man doing the wrong thing, absolutely wrong thing. So in this episode, uh, I'm gonna show y'all this little technique that's so quick and easy, you're gonna be like, oh man, it do lying, man, it do lying. No, it ain't lying, man, it's just how it is, man. Just quick and simple. All right, so practically everything you see is what you're gonna put, you're gonna use it, all right? Now you got you got a slice, this is very convenient. You got your measuring spoons. Right here you got your about four nice size carrots. You got your whole uh, green pepper, but I took the ugly parts off. I don't like the ugly parts. You got your three Roman tomatoes. You got your one dried out pep jalapeno pepper, but you can use a fresh one. And then you got your uh, half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of rosemary, half uh, four teaspoon of, um, of thyme. And then you got your uh, uh, half teaspoon of kosher salt. Then you got some ground oregano. You gotta be careful with this stuff now. And over yonder, over, right over yonder, right? You got some ground ginger, man. And then you got your clips pepper sauce. Dip man feel made that one. Then on Uncle Dub, boy, I got me that secret seasoning. I use that for everything, man. You can be putting that on all kinds of stuff and it's gonna set it off. Set it off on the left, set it off on the right. Yeah. And then you got to have this. This is the thing that's gonna uh, peel the skin off your garlic. All right? Mother still it perfectly. You know, you know, she makes some good stuff, man. I ain't gonna lie, her stuff gonna be good. can't use too much celery. So we're gonna use the whole stock. And then right here, we got about two and a half pounds of, uh, of beef, man. Caught me a nice little roast on sale from Kroger's, man. Where do you get your meat products from? Do your thing! But on no rind, just swing that back. So, nah, he was a pitcher. He you know pretty good with his beef product, so we're gonna show him some love. Now, first thing you wanna do, you wanna turn into that package like a wild street dog. Just turn into it, man. Turn all into it. <laughs> My auntie used to say, boy, get in there and wrench that meat off. I used to say, I don't know what you're talking about. She said, get in there and wrench that meat off. I said, man, what are you talking about? You, what you, what you wrenching? <laughs> what a wrench? <laughs> she said, quit playing with me before I go outside your head. But anyways, though, Seriously, to tell when you're done wrenching off your meat, it won't have that old slimy feel to it. You know, that slimy stuff be that blood. So just rinse it off until, you know, you uh, <laughs> don't feel slimy. You know, it kind of, you can feel these, these grooves and these tendons and your finger don't slide off of it like you got on church shoes stepping out on that cold ice concrete porch. You know what I'm saying? So next you're gonna take Uncle Don Steaks, his uh, world famous seasoning, and you're gonna put it in the bottom of your, of your, uh, crock pot. You want to use about two tablespoons. That's why I want to put it there. Just do it like that, all right? That's all you're going to do. Then you're going to grab your meat. Go grab your meat. Boom! Slam it in there like that, all right? That's the bottom half, all right? You know what I'm saying? Don't talk about it. Then you want to pick the meat up. You want to look at it. Just a little bit. So you just want to season it all there right there. Rub it in there like that, all right? Then you want to Sprinkle some more on top. Now, if you don't have Uncle Don seasoning, which chances are you ain't gonna get it, cause you know y'all ain't special like I am. You know y'all ain't got the hookup. You can use any kind of steak seasoning, meat tenderizer, or uh, whatever. I say use about um, about three tablespoons. You know, cause, like you really can't over season beef. Beef, you can make it too salty, but you can't over season it. So you know, just hit it like that. That's all you gotta do. All right. All right, so also you want to remember every time after you get done touching some meat, you want to wash your hands, man. You don't want to be cross-contaminating nothing. So you're going to take your garlic and you're going to put them in here. Put the little garlic in there. Just like that.
little guard stuff. We want to cut off the little booties. The little dry booties right here, man. You know, you don't, you don't want to. Nobody want no ugly food in their food, man. Put them in here. This is for slice and this is for dice. For mincing. So put these little garlics in there. Now, if you don't have one of them garlic slices, I suggest you go out and get one. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyways, now, if you don't have it for real, you can uh, just slice it regular, just, you know, uh, put them in the hole if you, you know, like the warden off vampires or something, but I like to put mine kind on the bottom, not on the meat, because I don't like raw garlic. I mean, it's not going to be raw by the time it's done, but I just like to make sure it cooked and it be real, 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 real soft. But I'm going to show you how I do mine, all right? See, I'm turning the wedges on mine. I mean, the ridges. And uh, you always want to take out these seeds, man, because the damn thing, if you can't chew them, they don't dissolve, uh, you know, when you're cooking. All right, man, when you got an onion, don't sit it on the round side and try to cut it, man. The onion wobble off and move, all right? Cut you a slice off of it. Sit it down like that, all right? Then see, it ain't, it ain't going nowhere. You just take your knife. Cut that off for them, like that. Turn it in a garbage can. You know, don't be doing all that old crazy work, man, risking your fingers and hazard work just trying to cook. Be smart about it. Put my onions and wedges. I like them better like that. You can put it in that hole and just keep going if you want to, but for me, man, I like to be able to stab them with that salt, man, and give me a couple good old onion slices. You know, you ain't got to separate them, just, just throw them in there. I put my onions in first because I like onions, but I don't like the taste of raw onions. And the type of onion I use is like a sweet Mayan onion, sweet Vidalia onion, any, any kind of onion that say sweet. I hate a white onion, man, they're too potent. You know, they just too strong, man. Strong like all people. So anyways, you usually like any of like a tennis ball size onion or a softball size onion. Depends on how much you like onion. Cut the booties off the tomatoes. You know, you don't want no ugly food going on. Cut them off. So right here, you skin your carrots. Then we're gonna slice them with this right here. We ain't gonna do all that chopping, keeping up all that racket and risking our little fingers. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna cut, we're gonna slice the carrots. Gonna slice them carrots. All right, everybody, here we go. attention to learn something. So you don't want to cut this part off just yet because that's what you're going to hold. And when you get close to that, you're going to throw it away. You ain't going to risk slicing them fingers. Okay, now at this point, before I add the carrots and the celery, you want to add all this, okay?
get them carrots. Jenny and carrots. Peas and carrots like Jenny. to it. Nope. Don't even add a can of chicken broth or beef broth. Nope. You want the beef to cook in its own natural juices. The fat gonna melt and then you got the water from the vegetables that's gonna help it out anyways and the steam gonna do it. So you ain't even put all the other stuff in there. Add water to it. The more water you add to it, the tougher your uh, roast gonna be. Absolutely. Yup, yup, yup.